Now, many kids dream of being in the NBA, uh, but fall short. I heard a rumor that you were a good basketball player, and then there was a guy named Gary Payton that came in <laughs> and took away a little playing time. But when you look at it, both of you guys made it to the NBA. What would you suggest for someone who's maybe a junior and there's only five, six, and they, they're starting to realize – I may not make it to the NBA, but I still want to be a part of the NBA. What would your suggestion be as far as their career trajectory and how should they go about it? Yeah, no, I'm still mad at Gary, even though we're still dear friends to this day. Um, but I appreciate you noting that we both made the league, so I appreciate that. Um, a couple of things I would say. I think one of the things that's really, really important is that folks who are interested in working either at the NBA or in, pro, in, in sports in general is to understand there are so many career entry points. We have lawyers. We have uh, co computer experts. We have creative folk who help to you know, develop our brands and our look and our feel. We have event planners. We have you know, all types of professions that really are required in order to put the, 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 the game, if you will, uh, on the screen and, and in our arenas. And I think you know, I certainly wouldn't ever want to dash a young person's dream of playing the game because everything is possible. We get it. But I think for those who uh, realize that you know they don't have the gift of, of, of being at that elite level. I would really look into you know educating yourself at the best of your ability and really beginning to think about those careers off the court that really do span everything from accountants to legal to lawyers to you know creatives and I think everything in between. Uh, it's just a phenomenal place to work.